this is Diana from Diana Simplifies. So now we're in my walk-in closet and we have some, I think that's an old record player and an old VCR stored up there. We've gotten rid of a lot of, we've really just decluttered a lot of stuff, but we've, we've kept those two items. I have some of my, my couple of Christmas wreaths up there. I had a client who made me um, some really nice garland and wreaths. And so I just store the, gar um, the garlands in a different closet, but anyway, then I have some of my decorative stuff up there. You can see, um, I think that's a tablecloth. I, when I was cleaning out one of those other closets, I found the tablecloth that I was supposed to be using this summer. I didn't even know I had, of course, because I forgot. Then here I've got, I think, three or four purses stored right here. I have, I've, I've just stuck my Bibles there for now. That's not really where they go. I've got the some extra salt. These are just food preparation, like prepper items that I have just... Um, I got some coconut oil, the huge things from Sam's because it's just so much cheaper. So I think I've got two or three of those because they don't really go bad. Or, you know, it's going to take them a while to go bad, I think. And then here's where I started organizing things after I did my a couple of clothing declutters. You'll see one of the clothing declutters following this, and I'd already posted one of the other ones. So here, right, right there, that little pile are my t-shirts. And then it looks like those are the tank tops and like maybe a couple of leggings. I can't actually tell. I see one pair of leggings. Not sure what all's under there. Maybe mostly t-shirts. That's kind of the what I sleep in, the little tank tops that I kept. And here are, I think those are, uh, that's a pair of leggings and then a few pairs of shorts and then some other just random stuff I don't really have a place for that's in that bin under there. Oh, there's an extra bin. I need to grab that extra bin. Um, I've got some stuff I need to put in there. And uh, I've got some of those essentials bags from the, the storage bags that are supposed to, um, you get the vacuum cleaner and suck all, it's like the thing you suck the air out of. I've got a couple of those sitting there. I've got my extra soaps here. I've got some extra toilet paper. I don't really like this toilet paper, but when there was a shortage, I bought a whole thing of that at uh, Sam's. I mean, it, it works. It's just super thin, so I don't use it unless, you know, it's one of those things I'll use it when I need it. And that's just kind of random stuff. I need to go through that down there, but I really didn't go through that when I was doing the, the clean out declutter a few days ago or a couple weeks ago, whenever it was. So here's my dressier stuff that I wear to church. One of my cats came in here. I hope I don't, well, here's Fallon. Hey, there she is. I don't forget about her. And uh, so I've got cereal piled up in here. This, like I said, I've got prepper stuff. I've got, usually I have a whole thing of paper towels. I've got to go. Um, look for my paper towels. I think I'm, I know I've got extras. I'm, I'm going to buy another package, but no, I've got extras. Another thing of coconut oil. Pajamas on the left. You can't really see the right, but those are black leggings. So just plain black leggings on the right. Some hangers that I probably need to get rid of. Um, on the left, there's some really thick fleecy stuff for when I get super cold, which is almost never. I don't, I'm not sure I even wore those last year, but you know, we'll see. I'm, I'm in my hot period as I call it. There's the shorts. It's actually labeled properly. The shorts are in the bin. I got rid of some shorts, and so that's what's left there. Um, some old khakis. I just keep some old pants around for cleaning if I need it. Now, this is one of those storage bags right there, and it's just sitting there open. It's got some random clothes, leggings, and stuff in there. Uh, I need to find a place for that. And then underneath there is the the gray thing, that's a bin that my Christmas clothes are in. So I'm just leaving them in the bin until it's time to wear Christmas clothes. I got a ton of Christmas clothes. And then back there, I've got coats, jackets, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts. And then it gets to more t-shirts and just um, cooler weather stuff here. And then several pairs of pants here, khakis, um, jeans, different colors of jeans, different, you know, some capris and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what's going on in my closet. This is after I've, now this, I haven't really redone this. This is, this has just been like this, but um, the shorts, I, I worked on the shorts after I went through my clothes. And then this little shelf right here, I went through all this stuff. So, and then this, a few of these things right here. Actually, those little shorts need to be moved to the thing that says shorts. I need to move those. So anyway, that's what's going on in the closet. I just wanted to show, because I've never really shown you a closet before, so that's just what's going on here. I've One of the reasons I talk about, one of the reasons I've done so much decluttering besides to get this junk out of my house, or stuff, I should call it stuff. It's not all junk. Some of it's just perfectly good clothes or things. But it's, I wanted to have storage for extra food and extra toilet paper and extra just whatever we need. So, um, you know, the extra soap that I just showed you right here. So... <clears throat> 
that was a lot of the motivation for me to start getting rid of stuff because I just wanted to store up more stuff. I do like to, uh, I like to have a stockpile. I, I enjoy, it makes me feel more comfortable to have things stockpiled here. So that is, that's just really that we've always had a stockpile of stuff. We've never not had a stockpile. So that's just normal for us. I know not everybody lives that way. That's just how we do it. And of course you do it your way, but that is one reason why I got rid of so much stuff. Hey guys, in one of my videos, I had mentioned that I have this, these cubby holes. So right here is the regular closet. That's where I've been showing you a lot of what I've been doing. And then as you go up here, this cubby hole opens. It actually goes into the attic, but just right in front of me, there's a cubby hole where I put extra paper towels, extra bath tissue, and I also have some commercial paper towels right there. I actually thought I had two boxes of these and I can't figure out, it may be behind the bath tissue and I just can't see it. But anyway, I'm getting in here to get that extra pack of paper towels out and I'm gonna go buy a new pack anyway to replace this, but I wanna make sure I'm using the old first. So that's why I'm up here today, just to get this down. So just FYI, just showing you, there's the little door that opens. I opened another one of my cubby holes and I found, I always put all my papers and stuff and you, there's some in a plastic bag that might have to do with taxes. But these, there's four boxes, one of them you can't really see, but you can see there are two, I think three are labeled with the year, that one right there, you can't see the year on that. So I'm guessing the year's on the other side, but it looks like to me, I need to go ahead and get rid of the 2014, 2015 because that's past the seven years. So it's always good to get into your little cabinets. You, <laughs> the paper towels look huge because I'm close to them. But um, we've got one, I think one or two sleeping bags right there. That's just really for an emergency. We've never really used them, but we have them in case we needed, you know, for some reason. Um, but anyway, I just have them in plastic bags to protect. But then I was looking for my paper towels and toilet paper and I found these papers. So it's always good to kind of assess your, your hiding spaces, your cubby holes whatever you have there to see what's going on. So now I've just realized I can at least get rid of two boxes. I'll have to get that third one and see what year that is. The other one's 2018. I think I need to keep it for now. Now I'm in the closet that's under the cubby. So there's the cubby I had just opened. So um, I took the packaging from around that bath tissue. That wasn't a full package. You can see over here in the corner, I have my Swiffer duster. Um, it's the cloths. I like the cloths. I don't like the dusters because they're just because they're more expensive. I just bought a whole bunch of these on clearance, so that's what that is. I can't find. I normally um, hang on. I normally buy these. It's um, it's hard to see, but it's eighty of them. Two. That's not focusing. Come on, y'all. Two boxes of forty, so it's a total of eighty. They used to sell these at Sam's, and they've just quit selling them. So. I found the others on clearance at Dollar General. They weren't a great price, but I went ahead and grabbed them. The Swiffer dusters are super expensive, so I have a couple of those, but that's just not how I prefer to do it with my business. I want it to be as few cents as possible when I'm working, if you know, if you understand. It's, it's for my work. If it's for my home, that's a little different, but for my work, I don't want to be spending a lot on my end. And then I have these disposable gloves. I'm about out of these which is fine with me because they are super cheap. I got them from somebody who sold me a case and it's the cheapest gloves I've ever used. So it was great timing because I got a whole case right before the pandemic and then there were none because I do use these for work. Um, I use them for cleaning kitchens and bathrooms. So I typically use two or three a day. I just, um, you know, use two for the, or a couple, one or two in the kitchen and then I'll, I'll need another one for the bathroom or if I clean the bathrooms first obviously I have to throw those away and start over for the kitchen but you know so I try to use as few as possible but it's taking me a long time to go through the case but anyway they were horrible so I'm now that the pandemic is you know it's not as bad and you can get gloves or they cost a lot more but I'm gonna be buying better gloves this time and then I got this partial out of here out of this right here and I just want to see if that full one would fit up there. I'm going to pull it back down because I'm about to take it and put it in my main closet. I'm going to take all of them out and just have single rolls in my main closet and just be ready to go. But I just want to see if that would fit because I'm going to go ahead and buy two, put one in here and put one up in that little attic cubby that I showed. So 
Again, if you're new here, we really don't use our attic anymore. I asked Spencer a few years ago, you know, I said, if anything happens to you, I cannot get up there. The floor's not finished and I don't feel safe getting up there. So can we just get everything out of our attic? So he agreed with me. He did that. It, it did, actually didn't take us long at all. We got rid of so much stuff. It was mostly just junk and um, it's just worked out really well for us. And like I said, I think we've got about rooms. I think we've got four rooms with these cubbies. So, you know, those work great and then I'm able to use some of my closet space as well. So it's working out great. That's just a shelf in one of my closets. Hey guys, I went through some items in the closet. Uh, it was a closet I was showing earlier. Actually, this came out of my kitchen. This, my mixer fits down in here um, and it's kind of hard to get off. It's kind of more of a pain than it is useful. You can put the uh, little mixing, what do you call the little mixer things down in here. And then just stick the mixer to it because I don't have a stand mixer, but it I don't use it, so I'm just gonna get rid of that, get out of my cabinet. These are old socks. A lot of this stuff, the elastic, I checked this out. The elastic is out. The elastic is coming out of these, sorry, out of these swimsuits and out of these the sock. I think I only have one sock right now. So this pile is going. This is more of like a trash pile. This it's probably a donate pile right here. Two cushions. They still have the little straps on them. These things I wash. They look okay on camera, but when just looking at them, they're so wrinkled. I'm not going to deal with something that's that wrinkled to just deal with it. So I'm just going to give that away. This little photo, photo frame used to have a friend's child in it. I'm giving that away. And I keep these hangers because I hang all my clothes, all my personal, not, not Spencer's, but my clothes get all hung up. So I do keep a, a good amount of those, but I've got a lot. So I think that this group is gonna, um, I'm just gonna get rid of those. So anyway, that's what this pile is about. This is about all I've done today. Now I've got an appointment I've gotta go to. So that's it for right now.